What are the differences between scoliosis and spondylosis? Scoliosis is a progressive structural spinal condition that involves the development of an unnatural sideways bending curvature that also rotates. The rotation is typically into the concavity of the curvature. A spondylosis is actually not a condition, but it refers to symptoms. And normally spondylosis refers to generic symptoms that involve spinal degeneration and pain. And the differences between the two is that scoliosis is specifically is a condition or an actual diagnosis, where spondylosis isn't. Scoliosis involves rotation, meaning the spine is twisting, and rotation isn't considered to be a generic symptom associated with spinal degeneration. The majority of scoliosis cases are idiopathic, meaning unknown cause. And the ma majority of cases of spondylosis involve degeneration associated with the spinal discs or the spinal bones. Uh, now, there are some similarities. Both affect the health of the spine and the surrounding tissues regarding the spine. Both can evolve and cause spinal degeneration and disc degeneration, and both can require treatment that's shaped around causation when they're both diagnosed and found out they're actually occurring. Now, the question is, can scoliosis actually cause spondylosis? We know degenerative scoliosis is caused by asymmetrical degeneration in the spine that normally starts to occur later on in life, somewhere somewhere around 50 years old, more common in women, that's postmenopausal. And this degeneration is an abnormal presentation because it's asymmetrical. Now, degenerative scoliosis can cause spondylosis as a symptom. And we know the most common causes of spondylosis are, is associated with disc degeneration, osteoarthritis, and osteoporosis. And these are also related to the causation of degenerative scoliosis. So when discs start to degenerate, they tend to change the shape of their uh, affecting joints asymmetrically. And when these discs start to degenerate, it can lead to this abnormal alignment, which can lead into to degenerative scoliosis if it's left uncorrected. Osteoarthritis affects the joints of the spine, which causes degeneration. Now, osteoarthritis is another way of calling it is degenerative arthritis. Osteoarthritis isn't like a condition that you catch. It's normally a, resp a response of abnormal alignment. Osteoporosis is where the bones actually weaken and become less dense. And when the bones become less dense, they're prone to something called compression fractures. And these compression fractures can change the shape of the vertebra, which can lead to scoliosis and kyphosis. So even though there's similarities between scoliosis and spondylosis, we know they're not the same. Scoliosis is definitely a condition where spondylosis is not, but referring to symptoms of spinal degeneration and pain. Both conditions can affect the, the way the spine functions and heals, and we definitely think both need proactive treatment, but scoliosis is a bigger condition that can encompass spondylosis, meaning if you have scoliosis, you're very likely to develop spondylosis because of the asymmetrical degeneration that occurs over your lifetime. Now, what I see a lot of times in MRIs is that they'll list all these findings of scoliosis. They'll see degenerated discs, they'll see bulging discs, they'll say spondylosis, they'll say spinal stenosis, and they will like, minimize the fact that there's a scoliosis that's causing all these other findings that are associated with scoliosis. So very rarely this like the spondylosis will lead to the scoliosis. It's like the scoliosis is definitely leading to the spondylosis. So we definitely recommend if you have scoliosis and spondylosis that you treat and try to get them improved. So therefore the body won't continue to express these symptoms negatively. Thanks for watching. I hope you found this information helpful. If you'd like to hear about other topics and information on scoliosis, type in the comments below and let us know. And finally, subscribe and hit the bell icon to be notified of when we publish content. Thanks.